Project and Sue Project, we aim to understand whether bad air quality at schools can affect attention performance of students. But of course, there are many other factors that can affect attention that we need to take into account. So we aim to explore this issue together with students who are the ones who experience the problem firsthand. So to do so, we developed a workshop in which we invited students to propose a set of factors they, that they believe could influence their attention. And they had to formulate these factors into questions. So examples of questions proposed by the students were, are you in love? Do you suffer from bullying? Are you a regular reader? Is your diet balanced and varied? And we conducted this workshop in several high schools in Barcelona. Then we collected all the questions from the participating high schools and we selected the most original ones um, to be included in a questionnaire for our epidemiology study. Well, generally speaking, factors that we scientists think that need to be taken into account when designing a study are often selected based on previous scientific literature and the knowledge we have on the topic. Therefore, an input from citizens based on their knowledge and their personal experiences could help us identify factors that we might not have thought of and that could have an influence on attention. Actually, in our study, we found that students not only identified uncommonly studied factors, but when we conducted our epidemiology study, we found that some of those factors may influence attention performance in students. So, I believe this activity was not only able to democratize the creation of a data collection tool, but it had important implications in the actual production of scientific knowledge for public health research on attention in students. If you are interested in replicating this study, I strongly suggest that rather than simply inviting the participants to list a number of factors that they think could affect a particular health problem, maybe try to explore with them a little bit more the relationships between the factors they suggest. So this could be done by drawing the relationships using arrows. And I think this can help the participants to learn the different interactions um, between factors related to the health problem under study and get an idea of, of its complexity.